First off, it has come to our attention that the URL about disabling caps lock may not have been available. This utility has been verified to work on Windows 7. Even though the website says it has not been updated since 2008, it still appears to be compatible with Windows 7. So the URL is johnhaller.com slash jh slash useful underscore stuff slash disable caps lock. And the file to download from here is this caps lock to control dot red. Edge, R -E -G. And here's what it looks like on the website, caps lock to control dot reg. You actually download that and run it as a program and then reboot your machine and your caps lock should now behave as a control key. Moving on back to the Premie Plane, we'll start from Premie Plane 3 and we will add positioned and oriented profiles based on this canonical profile that we made previously and prepare to loft those into a lofted surface. I'll save a new version of this file as Premie Plane 4.list. First thing we have to do is pass this canonical profile as an object in to the wing assembly. The wing assembly needs to have this canonical profile available to be able to do anything with it. So the canonical profile will pass in as the canonical profile. So even though it is an object, it's completely possible to pass it as a value for the input slot into an, another object, for example, the wing assembly. The wing assembly is of type box wings. So now in the box wings object definition, we have to add a canonical profile as a known input slot. And likewise, we'll pass it all the way down into each individual wing. So we give it as an input into the wing itself, so passing it on down the tree. And in the wing itself, likewise, we will define canonical profile as a known input slot. Now we'll go ahead and compile the entire file with control C control K and we do get several warnings. When you get these types of warnings following are not recognized as any category of defined input slot. The first thing to do is answer yes load it anyway and then try to compile again and this time we get no warnings. It's because when you first add a new input for a child object the compiler might not yet have seen the new definition for box wings for example so it did not yet know that canonical profile is acceptable. So we simply run another pass of the compiler and we have no warnings. So now the canonical profile itself will be available down in the box wing. So the next thing we want to do is use a boxed curve. A box curve is a convenient method of reorienting and positioning a curve. And it actually is making a new curve object based on a curve object that you pass into it called the curve in. The first one we'll call the root profile. And this will be a box boxed curve that will be positioned at the root of each wing. Right now we are inside the definition for box wing. So this will apply to each and every instance of box wing that we have. The root profile type is boxed curve. And if you look at the definition for boxed curve, the required input is a curve in. The curve in is a curve object. In this case, it's simply the canonical profile. You want to use that same canonical profile as the starting point for this boxed curve. It's orientation. If we take a look at the canonical profile, let's get an idea for how it is oriented in global space, first of all. Here's the canonical profile. It does show up in the tree. We can make it hidden later. And here it is in trimetric view. Let's take a look at it in a top view. So now we have an idea of how this is oriented in global space. Under the view, we can turn on a get coordinate mode. And if we click here at the leading edge, we see that that's right at zero, zero, zero. So the global origin is right here at the leading edge. At the trailing edge, if I click over here, we see that it's one, zero, zero. So again, this is a unit chord length and it's oriented flat in the x, y plane and the x direction is going down the chord and the y direction is going front to rear this way and top or z is pointing straight out the screen. So we want to orient actually the top face of this 2D profile. The top face will be the flat face. We want to orient that along the right face of the wing. If we look at both wings and get it in a trimetric we can have a better idea. The right face of each wing is pointing from root to tip. If you recall that's how we set up the orientation on these wings. So we want the top face of the profile oriented with the right face of each wing. And likewise, the right face of the profile, and that's the direction pointing from leading edge to trailing edge, we would want aligned with the rear direction of the wing. And finally, the rear face of the profile, which is pointing, turn on just the profile again, clear leaves, get a top view. So the rear of the profile is pointing back this way, and we would want that aligned with the top of the wing. 